June 22nd, there was a 5.0 earthquake near Ottawa, Canada. It was felt throughout the Northeast. It was a surprise. This is not earthquake in country, but it shows that occasionally geologic forces can become unbalanced. The fact that we do not have earthquakes more often does not mean that there is not tremendous tension between geologic formations. It just means that those forces are usually in static equilibrium. Just as I am now applying poison forces to my hands, nothing moves as long as there is enough friction between my hands. If I put some Vaseline on my hands, of course, the friction is reduced and I slip. Now think about the geologic formations above and below the Marcellus Shale. There could be tremendous tensions between them held in static equilibrium by friction with the Marcellus formation. What is being proposed is a widespread fracturing of that formation and the injection of large amounts of lubricating fluid. The industry calls this slick water hydrofracking. This, this process, by definition and purpose, lowers the friction in the Marcellus formation. If there is enough tension between the adjacent formation and the friction is lowered enough, an earthquake will result. Earthquakes, earthquakes are very unpredictable and messy. A small quake in Canada was felt hundreds of miles away. Most of the buildings in the Delaware River Basin were not built with earthquakes in mind. Just imagine the destruction that a major quake could cause around here. Reducing the friction in a Marcellus shale could lead to unpredictable, disastrous results. That is exactly what slip water hydrofragging of this formation could cause. Our next speakers are Barbara Arundel. Citizens for Sustainability. The basic